everything seems to be good. All right. All right, so welcome to the Marina Bay Street Circuit for the Singapore Grand Prix. This race, honestly, I'm just going to treat as a toss-up race because in practice and qualifying, the car just doesn't have the speed or the handling because it's too far behind on development. And that upgrades are going to be pretty slow coming, and especially with the... Uh, with the um, races consecutively happening, it's just the car is just not going to be as quick as the other teams in terms of the development. But either way, I think next season's probably going to be where the car will shine. I still got more guts on in, in the background. Another show from Nickelodeon's glory years. But the really good thing is, is that those chassis upgrades I got at least should be here very soon. I just hope that they all pass and hopefully they all succeed so I have those for uh, Japan, which is the next race. But yeah, I mean, Singapore is, this is a tough track. You know, I mean, you got to have a really good handling car, but also at least a good amount of speed to get around this track fast. Here we go then, it's Formula One in Marina Bay once again, and welcome to all of you at home who join us today for this fascinating race around the baking hot, horribly humid, but very beautiful streets of Singapore. The Marina Bay Street Circuit then has 23 corners, 13 to the left and 10 to the right, taking us a total of 3.1 miles around the landmarks of downtown Singapore. An average lap speed around here, just 107 miles per hour. Anthony Davidson also joins me in the commentary box today. Let's talk about Bird. What do you make of their performance so far this season? It's been a really solid year so far. There have been some incredible standout performances, but what's really impressed me has been the consistency. With this kind of form, I'm expecting another great race today. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Perez, Carlos Sainz, and Norris, Gasly, Leclerc, Ricardo, and Yuki Tsunoda, Russell, Stroll, Esteban Ocon, Bird, Vettel, Delatrad, Daniel Tictum, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Latifi, Mick Schumacher, Mazepin, and Guan Yu Zhou. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. All right. Definitely want to make a much lighter fuel load. I know that for sure. Okay. So, yeah, it looks like this will do for setup. So, yeah, I want to go with this strategy. Yeah, I don't want to go too late. Add a little bit more fuel in the car. Yeah, this should be okay. Car's got, in my honest opinion, enough fuel efficiency, so this should be okay, I think. But I know I'm probably going to be having to coast a lot in the corners, so, but then again, yeah, I'll just add a little bit of extra fuel just to be safe. All right. It's usually a great idea just to start on the medium, so at the ends I have the softs. It's lights out, and away we go in Singapore. Sir Lancelot didn't get a good start. I knew he was going to try to block me moving up to the track. And I knew George was going to chop me off there. So typical, huh? I didn't even hit Seb there. Goodness. I didn't hit Louie, right? If I did, then I'm sorry, but I'm going to restart the race. That was a horrible start. And Sir Lancelot just kept weaving back and forth, blocking me. Okay, here me. we go. I know what you can do. So. Don't let me down. But yeah, this track's really frustrating, so. And it's lights out. And away we go in Singapore. Chop, cut me off there. Oh my goodness. Alright, how's 
the car. Alright. Car looks like it's in okay shape. I didn't even hit George. He came over and hit me. is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Having to mainly use my short track racing experience in order to try to navigate the tight corners pretty well. to lap.
Nice work, that brings you up a place. Trying to get a good apex there in the corner, and the car accidentally drifts up and hits the hits the wall. leading our teammate by 7.6 seconds. Louis is in the pits, Louis in the pits. Approaching the pit window, you'll be on the softs.
box box. We're coming in this lap. Max. Release, release. Not a bad stop. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Five laps of fuel remaining. Nice move.
top 10 now. Keep it up, Gap. The teammate behind is 10.9 seconds. Goodness me, Carlos. Give me some room. I thought I had to do the dive bomb move, but I had to get around him, though. So you definitely want to take advantage of the softs, that's for sure. P6, P6. Final lap, final lap of the race. Uh, break too late. Giving it everything I got. Try to uh, try to move up a couple more spots. Uh, this is a, the Mercedes is really fast. Lewis is really holding up this pack of cars. Ah, dang it. Saved it though, which is awesome. Car just had to get really twitchy there on acceleration. But storm back to finish P5. That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Ferme. 
This is awesome. Really had to use the uh, short track ex racing experience that they have. It's never easy to make it across the finish line here in Singapore, but they've done so especially, with some style here today to take a Especially with a really victory. tight circuit like Singapore and a really underdeveloped car. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs. And that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximize the strategy, and to stay out of trouble. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. I don't know, but finishing fifth is a, is a really big surprise for me. So I didn't think the car would be that good. We had to really Let's have a look then at the driver's stand. muscle the car. Max Verstappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? I have to give it to Bird. They demonstrated a very delicate touch in close proximity to other cars, as well as showing a lot of maturity and patience in difficult situations. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Red Bull pull further ahead in the standings. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. Hey, yeah, it's got to get lots of short, tr short really track racing experience. And those, those tracks, you got to really muscle it's the car like the around. Is already won. You're surpassing all expectations. Can anything or anyone stop you? Let's talk about another team. So talk us through what happened between you. Great. Well, that's everything. That's the thing about short track racing is you have to really muscle the car around the track, you know, and us driving it, driving it as fast as it can go, and us pushing hard to try to try to uh, really deliver for everybody. I'm doing the best I can to try to hang on to at least fourth in the constructor standings. It looks like I got everything. So yeah, I'll keep a Chevy, but I might ditch a Volo, but I'll probably renew the sponsors anyways. So. Alright, time to put him back on the car. So... Um, I'll definitely do... I'll definitely build the chassis, yeah, but then again, I was thinking about it, doing some external training, but I'll do chassis team. But yeah, I mean, that was honestly a surprise that I was able to finish that, that good, especially at Singapore, which is a really tough track to run fast at. That's one of the great things about short track racing, you know. But yeah, I gotta put everything back on the car. All right, so everything's back on the car, and they still don't have the. Uh, yeah, in terms of chassis, got these, and now there's the hydraulic lines, which I can definitely get. I would definitely get it. That's for sure. And then I'm still waiting for the other upgrades to be done. So let's go ahead and advance the clock. But before I do that, I want to put in a different power unit for Japan. I'd like to switch to... I honestly would like to switch to these. All right. Let's go ahead and advance the clock. Okay, we've had the new parts come through the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. 
Definitely need to get the arrow upgrades. That's a must, obviously. So now I got the remaining arrow upgrades to the car. And then once I get enough money, I'm definitely going to upgrade the powertrain so that way they have, um, that way then they have max uh, development, that's for sure. But of course, I also though do need to save money. Yep, so I was able to get some more upgrades. All right. So the next episode will be the Japanese Grand Prix at the legendary Suzuka circuit. One of my favorite countries in the world. Because I love anime. <laughs> so either way, um, I'll see you guys in the land of the rising sun. Bye!